at 6.30 a.m. Time for another vlog. Good morning, everyone. So it's uh, bright and early, sun is rising, and I am going to the gym, and then I'm going right to work. So the gym was a success. It was actually very quiet. Um, so I actually picked a really good time. Um, it's about 8.30, which is kind of what I was planning on. So my next stop is actually breakfast, and in my old routine, what I used to do is there's a Starbucks on the way out of here. So typically I would run out of the gym and then run to Starbucks and get a, a, a tall coffee and I would get a spinach feta wrap, which um, is primarily egg whites and spinach and some feta cheese in a whole wheat wrap. And it's, a, it's pretty healthy and it's very low calorie. Um, and, and then that way I don't have to have a, a protein shake right now. Uh, usually I would have that, I would eat that wrap on the way to the office, and then once I get there I would have the, the protein shake, the muscle milk. So as you can see we're here, it is like right here. I just usually turn off here because it's easier to come in the back side than it is to right on the highway. And that way, if there's also if there's limited parking, I don't have to navigate from the front to the back. I can just park right here. You see. So this is actually quite good. Ah, oh, this, this woman's gonna move. Oh, come on, woman. Really? I'm supposed to freaking? Oh, I hate Jersey people. Drivers, that is. Oh, coffee. Oh, I missed you. Mm. I'm usually one for having coffee before I do anything else, but my original routine when I was working out, I would do the gym first and then eat so I wouldn't eat anything. Because then what would happen is if I ate something before I went to the gym, I would feel like I want to throw it all up. So that's not necessarily healthy. Or safe, I guess. I got some napkins for my wrap, but I usually unwrap it before I eat it, and then I just drive a bit before I start chopping because they microwave it and it tastes gooey when it's microwaved. But, um, but yeah, here, here it is. It's yummy. So as you guys can see, it's somewhat of a different route than I would normally be taking. Um, the gym is uh, on a different highway that is actually closer to Route 3 and the um, sports complex, or MetLife Stadium as we say. And so it's it's just a little faster to come this way. Success, I am on the turnpike. And now that I am on the turnpike, my wrap has had time to cool, so I'll be able to actually eat it. Um, it's actually really good. I used to have a wrap like this years and years ago, and then that place went out of business. So, it has spinach, egg white, feta cheese, and a little salsa. Mmm, that's good. Yeah, the Fitbit is um, working out pretty well. Um, it's actually at or, or a little better than what I had before, and the unit I used to use was called Body Bug, and it's just a strap that goes on your arm, uh, upper arm, so up, up around here, and it would kind of do the same thing. It would track your steps and, and heart rate and all these things, um, but it had some sort of a special, you know, component in it where it would actually know exactly how many calories you burned and moment of activity and everything because it had some sort of heat sensoring in it. So it, it, it was touted as one of the better units because it, you can get a very accurate calorie burn whereas with the Fitbit and some of the other ones, you know, it gives you calorie burn, yes, but it's not 
catered to your body. It's only it, it's it's calibrated more for movement and how vigorous and how long and everything. So there's logic built into the into the smaller devices that you know estimate calorie burn. But I have to say it's actually really accurate. From when I used to be active, I would generally burn in excess of 3,000 calories a day, usually from 3,000 to 3,500. Um, and then if I actually had stuff to do during the day or a long or day full of activities, that would easily be 4,000 calorie burn, um, at least. So this thing captured me at like 3,600 calories burned or something. I don't remember exactly, but it was definitely in excess of 3,000. Um, you set up goals in, in Fitbit. So, like, for example, I actually weighed myself and I weighed 245, but then in another scale, I weigh 240. So, I weigh 245, let's say. So, I definitely need to lose the 45 pounds. I actually did not realize I had gained that much. Um, and again, I know in a month or so, I'll have easily gained, I lost about 5 or 10 pounds. That's generally how it works. So, that's why another reason why I want to I wanna try to keep going every day for the first little while. Until I see the results and then I'll and then I'll start alternating hey folks it's lunchtime uh, today I will not be going to the Wawa or the local mall I will be going to a place called muscle maker grill you should check them out it's actually really good food um, the problem is that there isn't any one of those locations near my office so it's about a 10 mile drive to get there it's not terribly bad Hey there, so I am almost at the Muscle Maker Grill in the beautiful area called Wall Township. Um, and there's the, the van actually leaving Muscle Maker Grill. Um, so that's interesting. So yeah, it's, um, it's not a very long drive. It's actually nice to just be able to uh, get away for a little bit. Hey guys, it's late. It's about quarter eleven. Very long day at work. Uh, I was done about 7.30. Um, then I had to go pick up my mom. She went out for the day. And then had a late dinner. Um, and then finally got home. So it's time for bed because I have a busy day tomorrow too. So uh, don't forget to like and comment and share my videos. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.